Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will talk about some serious topic. So we will talk about the schedules and how we can calculate some uh, not ordinary numbers. Let's say uh, you want to calculate for example your room but minus for example 0 0.1% so how you can do that without for example Excel or without typing uh, by manually I will show you today let's start it for this uh, tutorial I will open some sample projects and we will use them for to show you something new in schedule actually this tutorial it's more like introducing to the schedule because the second tutorial will be more for advanced users so uh, let's go for example let's say we have here the rooms schedules as you can see right here let's go inside this uh, room schedule uh, it's opening now and as you can see we already have some uh, schedules here by square meter area and this is this is okay so this is really totally fine let's make some changes here so to make uh, to cre create here some changes we should go inside this project uh, right here the fields and edit let's go here and before we will create some new changes i will show you uh, some uh, main things how to create your schedule really cool like in excel for example for example i want to make the total numbers here right so what i'm gonna do i'm going to the sorter sorting and grouping and i will find it here the grand total so let's use the grand total and now revit asking us the what the type grand total we want Ti uh, title count and totals for example so yes i want title i want count and i want total in one line so let's say okay and you will see now changes grand total it's uh, 33 so 33 uh, type of the rooms but uh, as you already see i want to make the grand total of my area so where is it so how i can do that uh, actually pretty easy but uh, when i was the student uh, i cannot find it uh, ways uh, ways locating so you should go for example to the formatting here you should find the area and here under everything you will find here no calculation you should change to the calculate total so change to the calculate total go ok and you will find now total of your square meters area so really easy but uh, yeah it's hard to find ways ways dislocated so and here you do you can do everything else like coordination you can fill it the format type the format for example you want to make the uh, two zero after after your number let's say like uh, 1608 dots to zero let's change it and we can change it to de decimals for example uh, to the some other thing and we can make like some more digits supply training okay square meters and let's change it for example uh, one decimal place two decimal uh, let's say one so as you can see it will be like this formatting or it will be like uh, equal to 10 or we can can get like this result so let's do it and as you can see we have two two numbers after dot so uh, maybe sometimes you need that uh, that's why i'm uh, concentrating your uh, uh your on this thing okay so uh let's uh, find some other thing what we can do here in right in the shadows properties let's say for example you have your area number as you can see here and you want to create something like uh area with some uh, coefficients like uh, zero 0 0.8 0 0.7 let's say you want to do that i don't know for example for your finishing right uh, so what you can do you can uh, first you should create your um, parameter and let's write like area area and let's write q like coefficient uh, so and it will be the number okay yes and under the formula i will find my area let's find my area here so here is my area and let's equal uh let's apply it to the 0 0.8 let's let's do it oh sorry it's not like this it's like this the number i will change to the area and now i will change to the dot 
it was my wrong so what you should go what you should do because i'm using now formula area i should change the type to the area and applying to the uh, 0 0.8 8 let's say okay and let's put it uh, more close to the area so now it will be around here let's say okay and now you can see this is my uh, real area this is my area with some uh, with some coefficient so uh, you can do easily is right now in the schedule you no need work in your uh, Revit now you no need change your room you can create it right in your shadow okay let's go more deeper let's say your um, I don't know your tutor your clients your customer whatever they saying like okay i not understand so is it is it big uh, uh, square meters area or no uh, can you make for example like a percentage from a whole of the area uh, and you will think how you can do that actually you can do it really easy again we will go into the parameters we changing here to the percentage and here we will write like percent okay so and here you can see this is grand total area so uh now the revit asking us from what we want get the percent percentage of, of our area from area A or from area Q. So I will use the real area uh, by grand total. Let's say OK. Let's say OK. And now you can see, for example, this stair is only 1% of my area. But for example, this uh, lobby is 18% from the my area. This is really cool. And as you can see, we didn't get a whole percentage of our area. We can do the same thing. We go. We should go to the formatting. We will find here the percentage, and we will find here the calculate the total. So and as you can see, this is 100%. So again, we can go back to the formatting we can go here for example percentage field format use uh use uh, our own so uncheck this one and here change for example to the two decimal places okay okay and now you can see exactly how many so this is not 18 actually this is 17 17.70 so uh for the small building it's nothing but for the really high high, high or the uh, large building this is uh, really important uh, so let's i will show you one more thing now i will show you how your schedule can work on you so how you can um, for example uh, make some changes or how you can check your work by schedule yeah it's possible so let's go back to them our option and here we will find by the formatting again i will find my queue area now I will go to the condition format and as you can see we get some new formatting here so it's like a formula but it's not. Uh, let's say uh, our field Q area test we will say uh, not equal or greater than uh, 5 square meter and let's say back color will be red one. I want red one here let's say okay let's say okay let's say okay Ta -da! so if your q area more than five uh, square meter uh, now it's in the shadow will be uh, red color by this way you can make some rules in your project and you make uh, for example uh, and you can check something for example with your rooms with your materials with your uh, numbers of the stairs or for example number of the rooms or the other family so you can uh, check something by schedules let's go back again and for example for the queue okay you understand how to do that but if for example for the area we can create the new thing like uh, coordination uh, okay so let's make uh, between or less than less than five or let's say less than ten uh, or no we will make uh, less than or equal let's do it no <laughs> sorry let's make between this is really a nice one between 10 and between 100 so you can understand now so we get we, we we should get something between that and we will make the green one 
like this we say okay and you can see so this is really what we want so by this way you can create more complex schedule you can create some graphics for your teacher for your customer whatever and for example you can calculate price like this for example if you get uh, square meters uh, like this you will get price like this and something else so just think it's only uh, limitless only your imagination uh, I think that's it for the basic one to introduce you the second thing uh, I mean the second tutorial will will go more deeper and I will show you more complex thing Thank you for watching guys and see you soon And that's it from today. Thank you guys for watching Don't forget to subscribe my social media leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time